everyone, this is Miss Natalie and I have a fun activity for you all to try at home to learn about the importance of water for both our bodies and our gardens. For today's activity, we are gonna learn how water moves through the plant. So for the activity, um, we are going to be using some celery. I just had this in my fridge. I took these bits from the middle, so it had some leaves because I wanted to see how the water moved through not only the stem of the plant, but also through the leaves. We also have some dye. Um, you can just use one color, that's okay. Um, what's really important is that it's a dark color so that you can see it moving through the plant. And then you also want some jars or a, any kitchen glasses. Okay, so let's get started. We have um, right here, I put some water in my jars or my kitchen glasses. Um, these, I really only just put about an inch in them. You only need just a little bit of water. Step two, you're going to mix your food coloring. Remember, it's important that the color is dark and concentrated so that you can see your results. So once you get your colors mixed, you can go ahead and put these stems in the food coloring. What I also wanted to do was put one stem in a cup with no water um, to not only see the color difference so that we had one that wasn't dyed so we could see the leaves and the stem, but also so we could see the difference between one that is in water and one that doesn't have any water. So this can be compared to maybe when we haven't drank enough water throughout the day so we can see how um, how that looks on a celery stick. All right, so now that we have all of our celery stalks in our dyed water, let's try to predict what might happen in these different celery stalks. Here we can see that after about an hour, the celery in the colored water is beginning to change color, meaning that it is starting to drink the water in the cup, transporting it through the stem and into the leaves. Look how the leaves are changing color. So here I have the changes over one hour, one day, and then two days. What do you notice about the celery? How does it look? What color is it? Where did the color change? Is this what you expected to see? Pause the video to make an observation on the color changes in the celery stalks over time. Also observe the difference between the two celery stalks that were in the water versus the celery stalk that did not have any water. Here we can see up close how celery drinks and transports water throughout the plant. We can see that the water goes through the stem and up to the leaves. Look how dark the leaves are. We can see how much water goes to the leaves. Now let's see inside. Use a butter or lettuce knife to cut into the celery. Be very careful and ask an adult for help. Once we cut into the celery, we can see how the stem acts like a straw for the plant. Here as we dissect the celery stem, you can see where the water was transported through these vein-like tubes, much like the veins in our bodies that carry blood, oxygen, and nutrients. We can see how much of a difference there is in color over time, which means the celery was drinking the colored water. Notice that not only the stem changed color, but also the leaves changed color, meaning that the water was going through the stem to the leaves. We can also compare the celery stalks that were in the colored water with the celery stalk that was not in any water. The celery stalk that did not have any water became droopy and shriveled up over time, whereas the celery stalks in water stayed standing tall and healthier. The same happens for humans. When we drink water, our bodies feel good and work their best. When we don't drink enough water, we don't feel so well. This is why it is so important for our bodies and our health that we drink water throughout the day, especially when we're active. 
Now that we know the importance of water for our healthy bodies, let's think of ways that we can drink more water throughout the day. Here are some ideas. Thanks everyone for watching. Check out our blog for more activities, recipes, and healthy eating tips.